Greetings from Cairns, Australia. This is a really big week. I'm heading back to school. But not just any school. I'm going to dive school to learn how to scuba at the Great Barrier Reef. First, I gotta figure out how to get to class. Let's go. I checked into the Deep Sea Divers Den Scuba School in Cairns where I had two full days of instruction with a great group of first timers and a dive instructor named Ollie. Can you say that again a lot louder? My name is Ollie, I'm the dive instructor for the next five days. Most of day one was spent in the classroom, watching videos and taking tests, but on day two, we suited up and jumped in the pool to get some first hand lessons and practice. Just like that, we were ready, for the most part. Here we go, out to sea. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Wait, All right. This way. We made the long journey out to the reef and then transferred over to a liveaboard boat where I'd be staying for the next three nights. And after getting all settled in, it was time to go explore the Great Barrier Reef for the first time. I did 15 dives in total, witnessing some of the most incredible marine life I've ever seen and just completely getting lost in this vast and beautiful world. But the most exhilarating dives were the ones that happened after the sun went down. There we go! <laughs> yes, that's a shark we're getting in the water with. And there's a bunch of them. Sure, they're only reef sharks, but that silhouette in the pitch black water will still scare the shit out of you. It doesn't get any less freaky or amazing the deeper you get either. Lights from the boat vanish pretty quickly, and soon you're left with only the glow from your flashlight in the complete darkness. 
giant trevellies use our lights to track down smaller fish, while sleeping turtles and lionfish hide within the coral. The slightest movement catches your attention, and as long as those green eyes are moving away from you, you're in good shape. The fear of the unknown mixed with the excitement of heightened senses in the dark made this one of the craziest and most thrilling things I've ever done, and I can't wait to dive again, as long as those sharks keep their distance. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was an amazing experience to say the least. But I know a few of you may be concerned about the environmental aspect of the trip, in particular how coral bleaching is affecting the region. And that was my main concern as well, to learn from the dive instructors and also a few marine biologists that I had a chance to speak with about the truth behind the problem. And one guy said it best to me and it still sticks with me is, in 50 years he said, the Great Barrier Reef won't be here anymore. And that's incredibly disheartening, considering how beautiful and what a treasure this place is. So I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you save the ocean or stop global warming on these broad, generic terms just to sound more educated or involved than I actually am. So I wanna leave a bunch of articles and also initiatives in the description of this video so you guys can get more educated and also more involved if you see fit. Until then, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and make sure to subscribe to new videos all the time from Australia and around the world. Thank you.